Yeah. Welcome back to Tennessee One. I am Demichael Jamal. And it's Cam King. And today we're watching Teddy Swims. Bad Dream. Official music video. Bad, bad Dream. This is my first time when he pulled this up, my first time seeing this person's name. However, I have heard at least one of his songs via social media. I just didn't, didn't know it was him. Um, I think we've all been very captivated. Captivated? I can't. My vocabulary. Fuck it. Captivated? Um, captivated. First time hearing his voice. I don't know about you guys. While it was from Lose Control, it was from that like more. It was like a live version or like a studio version of it, like like a music video studio or something like that. And mm, that voice in my ear is so good. I particularly do love the album that he came out with. Um, I tried everything but Therapy Part One. Quite a few songs on there that I've enjoyed. And I think he's a great artist that I wouldn't call him up and coming anymore because that song was a fucking hit. Uh, it was one of those, right? Like it's a lot, been played a lot. Uh, but yeah, let's jump into this. Hopefully you like him as much as I like him. If not, that's okay. I'll find another roommate. Amen. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's a clean little suit. Uh, interpolation of another song is like it? a famous that's a good question because the flow is very similar to a, to what a song that i no. recognize not that i know huh but his voice say. sounds really nice obviously um it's very like smooth, but it's got a Raspies. gravelly, a raspy, yeah, yeah, yeah. A raspy. Uh, I love those voices, it. like Amy yeah. Winehouse. Uh. Yeah. But yeah, it's uh, <laughs> they're good. It's pretty good. I love them. It's I just, pretty good. It's so I just I don't care what the lyrics are. He just sounds they so good. Booty, booty, booty. He'd be like, I he asked for days. I'd be like, Amen, brother. Amen. Yeah, yeah me too. But yeah, sounds good. I just thought it reminded me of something else. Okay, that's okay. Good. I thought he was good. falling, slipping into bad dreams. He's going to hell, almost kind of falling from heaven in a way. And the transition the between the pre-chorus oh. and the chorus, because you're thinking, because he could have stopped without you. Yeah. I keep like yeah. just that's that's a sentence still like, and it still can make sense and it leaves it kind of open for yeah. interpretation. Yeah. But the without you, I keep is kind of like the pickup note for, and leading into that next bar, slipping into bad dreams and the delivery of it. Slipping in a bad dream. Like, yeah. First off, that's nice. That pre chorus, when he says me and sleep. Sleep, yeah. Oh, and he, he, the way he sleep. did sleep was this a little like, higher. And it's, it's so yeah. soft. Like, oh, yeah. the control he has of yeah. his voice is so good. Yeah. I am a Teddy Swims meat writer. I'm going to tell you right now. I wouldn't describe it exactly that way, but <laughs> I want to hear the whole pre chorus. Delivery of cry. Oh, 
this reminds me of Have Mercy by Shawn Mendes in terms of the theme. Like, oh, basically, okay. have mercy on me. me you keep, mercy. like, basically, I love you. So either make me stop loving you or love me back because this hurts. Um, basically, like, I love you. I need you to set me free from all these bad dreams. It kind of give me that same sentiment. Yep, yep. But it's a completely yeah, like different voice, obviously. Yeah, I like um, that comparison. But yeah, and the way that he said, when I cry, that cry delivery was mm, nice and smooth. Mm, it mm. just adds that that balance, that intrigue, the different, you know, it makes it to where some people sing and they're different notes, but there's a little bit of a mon- monotonous, yeah. you know, monotone. Yeah. You don't have um, the same control that he does. It. He yeah. has ex- excellent control of his voice, his vocals. Yeah. It's very, like, pristine. It's very well executed. Mm-hmm. It's almost like when a rapper gets really technical and they right. sound and clean and they, enunci- and, and, yeah. Yeah, and they enunciate and everything. Ah, mm-hmm. oh, mm. It's good. Mm. transition into the verse yeah you know, it's like the opposite of the taylor swift songs we listen to she'll give a lot of space in between her uh yeah. verses and choruses and then yeah. he he likes to just yeah kind of let it flow kind of let it flow Yeah, no, I, yeah. I wouldn't comment too much on it, but it's good. Yeah. It out. And he got free. Yeah, you know, the walls were instead of collapsing in on him, were being you know torn down. And yeah, something about these big back bearded tattooed men that can fucking sing. Him, Jelly Roll. Mm-hmm. It's a trend. It's just two. That was two. <laughs> two is I enough. Thought you was about to list them. <laughs> I'm sure there's some more, but two is enough. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was gonna say the rhyme scheme where if you scroll up in the pre-chorus. Where he's like, um, the 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 ending rhyme is hide. It's like the eye that um, what is it called? The long eye, hide tonight, quiet. Yeah, and it's ending on a certain beat, but then without you, I it ends on a different. Like he doesn't do the the little uh, really like staccato. Yes, with that, he, without legato, you or legato, like the little, yeah, and yeah. then he like waits. He's very connected, and then without you, I like he still ends on the same beat. But he uses less yeah. syllables to get there because he takes that pause. Gives and then space. without you, I keep slipping in the bed. Is Yeah, I just yeah, really good. enjoyed it's that. It's really good songwriting. It's really nice. Um, that is a great song. Mm-hmm. Great artist. If you guys have not seen a lot of Teddy Swims, I please check out his I've Tried Everything But Therapy album. There's a lot of good songs on there besides Lose Control. Like I know that's his real famous song, but mm-hmm. he has some fantastic music. It is a vibe. And when singers with, because I know Lose Control, I've heard that before. I don't know the lyrics right off the top of my head, but I know I've heard that one somewhere. Lose he has a very like powerful control. voice, and that's like a more powerful song where he's allowed to really show it. Yep. But when singers like that uh, get on a song that's more like a fun, yeah. it yep. really shows the difference between them and other songs who other singers who only do the fun, funk, fast yes. uh, songs because it's like, 
it's almost for lack of a a better analogy, but it's almost like when like a a varsity player comes down and plays on JV. They look way <laughs> like look it's really like good. yeah, it's like damn. Because the way he's able to do these songs, it's a little bit different. He can add that, you know. Yeah, he can do so much because he, he has so much more skill or, or yeah. talent or just, you know, range. Yeah. He can do so much more with it. Yeah. That pre-chorus is definitely my favorite part of the song. Without you. Right into the beginning mm-hmm. of the chorus mm-hmm. is... Mm-hmm. Without you. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes, tell us what you thought. Mm-hmm. And, uh, well, you guessed it. See you on the next one. <laughs>